Hi there. Welcome to Changes for a Lifetime, the channel where you all know you're going to learn something new every week. It could be a plant-based recipe, a beauty DIY that we make. It could be a garden tip or a lifestyle hack that can change how you do things. This week, it's going to be a plant-based recipe. Yes, it is. It's going to be this right here. This is spaghetti squash. It is excellent. It is low in carbs. One cup is only 42 calories, 10 grams of carbs, and 2.2 grams of fiber. So that equates to 7.8 grams of carb for a whole cup cooked. And it's a lot cooked. It's only a few ingredients. Keep watching how to make this spaghetti, spaghetti squash, you all. You're going to be amazed. And it's so good. Oh, my goodness. And quick. But I got to do it in the Instant Pot. You can do it in the oven, but I'm going to do it in the Instant Pot because that makes things quite effortless. Keep watching. I want you to know when picking out spaghetti squash to make sure that it still has the stem. That way you know it's kind of ripe. It's still going to be hard, but make sure the stem is still there. And you don't need a real big one. Just this size is good. It's enough. It makes a lot, believe it or not. You just wash the outside and then it's good to go. You know what though? The reason this is so beneficial is because it can take the place of rice to put vegetables on top of it. It can take the place of spaghetti noodles. It's just such a versatile vegetable that I want you all to try. Okay, the next place you see me will be in the kitchen. First thing you have to do is puncture holes just all around it. So that the steam can get inside and it won't explode. Ooh. Okay, one cup of water. I have a trivet in here so that the spaghetti squash is not right at the bottom. So I have this in here and it's going to sit on there. So put it in here. That's it for cooking, you all. I'm gonna cook it for 15 minutes to turn this the way I normally have it. Okay, 15 minutes on manual. Push the seal back away from the, so the steam stays inside. 15 minutes, and that's it. See you back in 15 minutes. It's gonna be done. The next part is very important, so there's a technique to get the spaghetti squash out. It's now building up pressure. See you shortly. Okay, it is now done. I'm gonna take it out. I let it cool off a little bit because it's really hot to handle. Okay, it's still hot, but I can do this. So what we're gonna do is just cut it in half, okay? It's gonna have to be off-centered from the stem. Okay, so this is where spaghetti part comes in too. You have to take the seeds out. Just pull them out. As many as you can. Some you may have to take out by hand. They're nestled in here. The seeds are. See them? Pull them to the side. Ooh. Just pull them out. You might be able to luck out and get them all out at one time, which is what I just did. Okay. So, all the seeds are left and we're left with this. what to do with this now. So I'm just going to pull out the spaghetti and put in this bowl. You just kind of, you all see this? 
just kind of pick it out. It's still too hot to handle. Put it in another bowl. You can clean it until it's completely empty, okay? First, pull it out. See how much you get out? Whew. It smells so good, you all. It really does. got a pasta al dente texture. Mm -hmm. Then just separate it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, you all? Spaghetti squash. Now, the next part is the seasoning. Don't skip on this. You can tweak it to your liking. This is what makes a difference with this. Okay, make sure that you try to separate it as much as you can so that when we put the spices in, it's not all clumped up. So the ingredients are one to two tablespoons of butter, plant-based butter. I use one tablespoon. Depends on the size of your squash. So one tablespoon butter, one teaspoon of parsley flakes, half a teaspoon of salt, and one to two garlic cloves minced. If you don't like garlic, you can substitute it with ginger. If you don't like parsley, you can substitute it with cilantro. You have a whole new flavor, or even oregano. Really, the sky is the limit when you're seasoning. So, that's what we're gonna do. A tablespoon plant-based butter. Mm -hmm. Mix it well. Again. And then our minced garlic. One to two cloves. Just kind of stir it around. parsley and salt. You know, seasoning things really bring flavors to life. And it makes you, that's why we eat, is the flavor. So this is a wonderful new vegetable to try. I'm gonna see if I can find somebody to taste test this. Just mix it so that everything is blended. That's the benefit of also putting something green in. You can see where it is in your food. And the nose is definitely working. So I hope you learned something today. If I don't find anybody to taste test it, I'm gonna just do it my own self. Perfect texture. This doesn't need another thing. This is so good. You all can just eat this just like this with no vegetable. This is really a vegetable in itself. I want you all to try this. I appreciate you all watching Changes for a Lifetime. Hopefully you learned something new this week to try. Peace and blessings. Subscribe, like, share it. See you next week. This is, I'll just give you a little bit, if you don't like it. Thank you for that. If I don't like it, I don't want to give you a whole mouthful of something I don't like. <laughs> okay.
Yeah. Now you know I've been cooking for you for years, so you know it's not gonna be something you don't like. Right. Okay. That's too much if you go. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, okay. that's a smell test. Okay. Crunchy? Flavorful? What the hell is it? Spaghetti squash. Okay. You've had it before, but it's been camouflaged. This is it by itself with just seasoning. Yes or no? I can work with it. Obviously, because you're eating all of it. No, it's good. It's good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, very good. Okay, so you're going to film.